what we have in the morning in the sense that they mentioned that we have all the reserves, we have everything and, and, and we don't know how to spend the money on. Well, today I think we'll have the opportunity to see where that kind of money can go to make real change to people here. In this session, we're discussing two important challenges for our region, uh, food security and job security. These two are seldom discussed together. I mean, it's, I think uh, there are not many forums that have attended where these two fit in together as like a pair. But I think there is a very good reason why it is so. Uh, for those who may not be familiar with the definition of food security, but simply it means that it's not only about food supply, it also means have access for everybody. Everybody is able to afford to buy the food as well as of the right quality, right, right nutrition quality, so that just having a food doesn't mean uh, food security. Food security has got much more dimensions than, than just supply of food. People should be able to afford it. Likewise, job security. It doesn't mean uh, just losing your job, but it's also the potential to lose the job. So that in our region, we have problems on both regards now, particularly so in the light of the financial crisis and economic crisis. As you know, 16% of Asia Pacific's population is undernourished by definition, uh, regarded as minimum requirements of calorie count for individuals. And 25% of our under five children are underweight. So that despite all the progress we are talking about, despite all the financial integration issues that we are talking about, it has been looked from the perspective of people, not just the system itself. Whether you can deliver, uh, 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 adequate food security and job security to all individuals in the ASEAN region. And uh, in terms of job security, I understand that about 46 million people are going to be added to the uh, uh, unemployed list in this Asia Pacific region because of, of, uh, of this crisis here. So that in all the stimulus packages we people are talking about, we have to make sure that they also address the critical issue of food security and job security. So what's the linkage between them? The link is poverty and hunger. Basically, both can, both are elements of poverty and hunger issues and have to be looked in terms of the methodology of poverty and hunger. So without much ado, I will introduce today's panel. Could I invite the panel upstairs here, please? We have a smaller panel than, than one here before, so that uh, uh, the issues can be much more focused. And also a diversified panel, so that they're talking on two different topics, one of, uh, of, of employment issues and uh, food security, uh, and the other one is of food security. So the questions they'll be, uh, they'll be addressing is, how can ASEAN countries cope with increasing unemployment as numbers of retrenched workers increase? How can ASEAN deal with foreign migrant workers? How to create more jobs? How to promote job security? Can ASEAN rely on agriculture to boost recovery? How can have ASEAN food security? So the first speaker that will be, will be, uh, the, the biographies are in the booklet here, so I'll summarize them so as to not to uh, save much time here. Um, Ms. Inoue Reiko, she's the president of the Pacific Asia Resource Center Park Interpeoples Cooperation, a Japanese NGO that focuses on research, education, interpeoples cooperation, and fair trade. Dr. Reiko is currently also a lecturer at Paris University. She is a researcher on issues relating to the environment and marine resources. Dr. Benjamin Quinones is based in the Philippines and is chairman and president Coalition of Socially Responsible Small and Medium Term Medium Enterprises in Asia. He has worked previously as a program coordinator of the Poverty Elevation Program in the former Asian and Pacific Development Center in Kuala Lumpur. Mr. Kukenes has published a number of books relating to social capital and finance in support of poverty elevation. The next one is Mr. Robert Yap. Uh, he is chairman and CEO of YCH Group, Singapore's leading end-to-end -end supply chain company with operations spanning the entire Asia-Pacific region. 
He is also co-chairman of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council and is a board member of the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore. He's, he has over 30 years of experience in the logistics and CM field. And the last speaker, but not the least, Dr. Sukti Das Gupta. She is a senior specialist.